Welcome! We are in Siracusa and we're in the coast. We get the views. It's very nice. Um, and now we're just gonna explore a bit, uh, see where the day takes us. Let me just say, that's a football. Oh my god! <laughs> football goal there. <laughs> Oh, the other one. <laughs> That's the other one. They probably play games here. Looking around and not finding absolutely anything, we have searched one of the restaurants that our landlord um, recommended, and we are going to go to Onda Blue. Unfortunately, um, the Onda Blue, it's the restaurant, it was only fish. Um, our girl, um, Carol, only likes prawns. So and so salmon, salmon. <laughs> so, salmon. So, salmon. Like salmon. So unfortunately so, we have to choose a pizza place. But yeah, let's let's keep with the day. This very sunny day in Sierra Cus. We have stopped in this local place um, where they've got pastries. And we've got one slice bowl, two slices of what seems to be chorizo and tomato and cheese and then we've got a pastry which seems to have cheese obviously the pastry sausage and some sort of herbs plan today is changing so much now. very that radical it's just we didn't realize that you know every single place restaurant closed um around yeah, because two it's sunday for i guess Little siesta. <laughs> this place is very Italian siesta. Yeah. Careful with the paper. And they open again like basically. It doesn't look like it's very warm, so. It's got some it's lettuce, veggies. some spinach. <laughs> that was just a bite of the, of the dough, the pizza dough. Some sort of focaccia, not pizza really, it's, yeah. I think it's focaccia. I'm pretty sure it's focaccia, you can have yeah. the bread. And let's see the... It's like not pizza though, it's, you know... Focaccia. Yeah. Try a bit with chorizo or salami. So these two drinks, these two slices of focaccia and this and the Ooh. sausage pastry. It's spicy, it just hit me. It all cost eight pounds, so I think it's quite worth it. And now we gonna enjoy it. Okay, I've gone to get serviettes because um, I didn't think we had, but these are the serviettes. So they're called kind of napkins. Like, yeah, napkins, sorry. Um, they're kind of like paper. To be fair, we have that in Brazil, like similar. Yeah, I've similar. never seen this before. I don't think it. It just takes out the grease kind yeah. of thing, like it sticks the grease to it. You can see the like. Now going to the sausage pastry thingy. It's kind of like bread, really. Um, it's not pastry, and it's quite nice. The bread feels quite salty. There's oh yeah, not, that's the first thing I noticed. It's not a strong flavor of um, sausage, but there is quite a lot of vegetables, and they overtake the flavor. So I wouldn't say it's a very meaty, it has some meat, but I wouldn't say it's a very meaty um, wrapped focaccia. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then with the actual focaccia, it's quite soft, the bread is quite nice. There's a moisture of the tomato, which helps a lot. Um, Carol thought the chorizo was quite spicy. I didn't really feel it. Well, not quite spicy. I tasted the spice. Yeah. And I think the chorizo helps. It is cold, so sometimes the focaccia can be cold. We would have rather warm, but that's just how they serve it. But and this is where we are. Um, Panetteria pin, Pincho. Pincho. So quality price, very good. Anyways, enjoy. Hello. Uh, we are now in Ponte Santa Lucia, was it? Yeah, it's yeah. British. Yeah. It's Ponte Santa Lucia. Uh, this one, and then yeah. that one is Ponte Umberto, or something like that. Something like Umberto, um, yeah. And we decided to film because it's quite quite a nice place, the nicest place that we've seen so far. Very nice, gives me like Venice vibes. Yeah, Venice. And you've got that cruise ship, quite blue, green water ish, with very small fishes. You can't really see the bottom. 
and then this is supposed to be like a ZL Z Z Z O L T yeah something ZLT like zone yeah it's meant to be low emission zone yeah. but, um, but it's quite nice because you can just walk without. it's at there's no parking spaces yeah but I mean we do see car parks on the right and they don't do electric so we are a bit confused you know this the signaling signage thing gets a bit confusing and we have found that Italy well Sicily is quite hectic um, when it comes yeah. to cars and you see pedestrian zones but they don't stop the cars don't stop until you start crossing really yeah and also like you can see if a bike's coming and the car's coming here they would just both try and go at the same time and then just honk 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 i think the honking here is very popular we're just walking around a bit to just... explore um it is getting more and more intense the heat and now we are gonna walk towards there and we'll keep filming. It's quite cool, it's like an arch with the trees. And that's obviously the on entry. Purpose. Oh look at that balcony, it's so beautiful. Cinderella. Very Roman vibes. But yeah, I don't know if this is on purpose or anything, but it does look quite, um, um, how do you say, pretty? Yeah. This is obviously one of the many ports that Italy has. I've got deeper into the port of the Syracuse and we can see the whole sea as well. I'm not sure if you can appreciate it on the camera. But on the little zoo. Far end, there's land. So I'm not sure if it's connected somewhere, but that's another island. I just wanted to say it's quite beautiful how they've got a wall of trees trim the tree so it looks quite square with the same shape and now you've got all the light buildings with light architecture stone light clay and then you've got a very big very high looks like a sort of castle just at the top over there right now we've seen this we are very curious if you know what this means Quite creepy. There's nothing over there, and it's not bothered a lot of crap. But it takes us to this road, very narrow, quite Italian road actually. It looks like one of the streets where they say, "Be careful, while I'm throwing water," or, and then they throw the water. But, Yes, yeah, very narrow, lots of bars, balconies. Feels very Spanish slash Italian. Walking up the street, we find this very beautiful monument in a piazza, plaza, in a square with a big clock here. The main bank of Sicily there. It looks like the the main main plaza in Syracuse um, and it's got like methodology animal mytholo mythological creatures it's quite good looking good looking boy over there <laughs> I think it's very like Roman style it looks like a Fontana you yeah I'm guessing what they do is they turn around and throw a coin here We, keep, we kept walking um, from the plaza and we found this big street which seems to have shops such as Sara there and the fountain is just over there but so far this has been the nicest street all the roads in Sicily so far have been damaged but this one looks very nice I swear you can't find that shop anywhere nowadays Walking down from that street, we arrived to this, this piazza, plaza, whatever. With a big greenery over there and a bit of Roman walls, and then another big square. But unfortunately, we have to continue through the 
Ponte Umbertino, which is just around that corner. That's the Tempo di Apollo. That's the Tempo di Apollo, that. that. Now we're gonna go back. We need to get our bagage.